Hello scumbags, perverts, and game addicts, bullet addicts, and fellow formation pilots. This is Ori calling you again, a uh, long time no see. Uh, I'm going to be unleashing on the all two videos. One, I'm going to show you a really quick, uh, quick tutorial I actually shot in Japan before I left of the PCB casing, plexiglass uh, casing. I think it's important. First of all, you know, they are old and you know, you might kick them by mistake, drop them. Even scratching them might, um, scratching the, the motherboard, you know, the might make like a disconnect and you know easily ruin your PCB also it's and I think it looks nice it, it's you know it, it comes nicely together you can you know put stickers on them and you know be able to recognize your PCBs in case you have many so um, ju just to let you know I, I just bought I still have a bunch that I need to do and um, I, I went to a part of town that is more industrial and I went to a workshop I, in Japan what I did is I bought in uh, in an art shop I bought uh, you know the, the plexiglass casing uh, which you know was not that expensive but a little bit expensive the cheapest way is to find a plastic workshop you know uh, and uh, I just bought like eight 40 by 40 centimeters uh, panels they're three millimeters thick that's what I would recommend and for eight pieces like this, it was around $40. Uh, I think it's it's a great price. Uh, so I'm going to be making more uh, pretty soon when I have time. So uh, please watch the tutorial videos. It kind of shows you uh, what kind of like equipment you need. You need like a specific knife to cut plexiglass. You need a uh, you know, specific uh, driller to make holes uh, for ventilation holes or... or um, or screw holes. Basically, what you need is plexiglass uh, tools, you know, like sandpaper and uh, and whatever you see. Not 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 that many tools, but uh, uh, you will see it in the video. Whatever you need, and the most important, uh, you know, the plexiglass, and uh, you know, you need uh, those um, metal screws and extension, and uh, you will see it in the video. Uh, those are. I don't know exactly where you guys can get it, but those are very important, uh, you know, to, to put everything together. I kind of like base the design on uh, Arcade Forges, uh, Arcade Forges's, uh, you know, um, uh, Sync Strike or the scaler that they made. They made nice place to do casing. So pretty much, I, I made uh, the same thing. Uh, pretty much, I think the laser cut there is. So this is how you can make it by hand, you know, and keep it cheap and have like a lifelong protection for your PCBs. So please check out the, the tutorial and please go for yourself. Oh, uh, thank you very much for my new subscribers. I hope on YouTube I have 190 subscribers, it's awesome. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll, I'll catch you on the next video. Okay. So the first step would be to, uh, I took like a difficult example just to show you. I have a uh, double, uh, double decked uh, PCB. First thing I do is attach the metal spacers. You're gonna need a whole hell of a lot of uh, metal spacers and plastic spacers. This is a 320 by 550 millimeters uh, plexiglass panel, which fits most of the PCBs. There's no PCBs bigger than that, really. Most of them would be smaller. So first, uh, you, you, you place the PCB with the spacers and to save material, you just uh, make a first mark, you know, so you can cut it, uh, initial cutting. And then uh, to guide the knife, I use like an older piece of uh, plexiglass. Uh, and um, I'm, I'm gonna use a special knife for plexiglass. You can find it in art stores. All you do is just ask for a special knife for plexiglass and it cuts it really easy, actually. It's, it's great uh, for cutting the three millimeter plexiglass. Here you can see I made like a few runs. You don't cut it all the way through. You you go like four, five, six times uh, until you can see it cuts halfway through the thickness. And then all you have to do is bend it, and it will break uh, really, uh, really easily, just like that. And uh, then I apply it uh, to the next uh, level. I, you know, you, you're going to need to do two at a time. So you use the cut piece to guide uh, the next, the other side. 
now uh, we have the rectangle cut to size now we're gonna make a uh, some more markings so we can uh, fit uh, the JAMA board connection. I like to, you don't have to do it, but usually it really helps and it looks good and uh, it helps the attachment. So you're gonna make like another cut, a rectangle cut uh, for the JAMA connection. See, I'm always using uh, I'm, I'm always using all the pieces you know it's it's easy it doesn't have to be super exact but you cut both sides of the plexiglass casing uh, so the initial cut I'm using uh, like a little saw to make uh, to make the cut so the the, the shortcuts are going to be done with a saw and then I'm going to use the knife to cut in between those little cuts and then you and then you can snap it like you guys can see here, I made the cut with the saw. It's really easy. And then you take the knife again. Uh, I take uh, the, again the old plexiglass piece to have a straight line. And I make another cut right here, just like that. And then once you do that, again, cut through halfway really gently. So you won't make cracks. You just snap it by hand again. And you do this for both sides of the PCB casing. This just shows you, once you make one side, uh, you just uh, use markings for the other side. You see, I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side of the casing. So I have two matching pieces. Then what I do is I connect them um, with a good uh, with a good tape, you know, nice and strong to attach both sides. So we so we're gonna cut them both in the same time. You place again the PCB on the plexiglass, and then you need to plan the holes uh, where you're gonna do the holes. So you mark around the spacers exactly where the holes are gonna be. So you see, this is easy right there. So I have uh, four spacers. And I'm gonna add uh, three more holes. You see, I added three holes just to make it stronger. So some holes are based on the spacers and some of them are based uh, just they're gonna be loose. And then it's very important, you take a piece of wood and you attach uh, sandpaper around it so you can uh, sand the angles, all of them. It's very important because this thing can be very sharp so it looks good and then it, it really feels good afterwards once you do it and it's very easy it, it takes it takes five minutes to round gently again the two sides are attached together so you're doing everything you're doing two pieces on the same time next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make like a basic grid uh, uh, I don't remember what's I, I usually do the same grid from all my PCB just find whatever uh, grid you want to do um, and then you're gonna do a whole bunch of markings uh, you don't want to make the holes uh, too tight together because if you make them close together it's gonna it's gonna render the the plexiglass weak so you need like a sweet spot uh, you know a nice distance so it will still stay strong but you know you're gonna be able to do the holes these holes are for, for ventilation and it makes the whole assembly lighter you don't need to do all the sides. All you need to concentrate is the middle, and you can do the holes in the middle. Next step is you take a driller, and once you buy, uh, I think this one is 24 or 30 millimeters uh, size. I'm, I cannot really remember, but I use that to drill the holes. Uh, it's a little bit messy, and that's the finished product. All you have to do is peel the brown uh, area and put the whole assembly together. Thank you for watching. This is a quick uh, look at a finished product. Uh, this is Terra Cresta PCB. And uh, just a few points. Uh, in this PCB, I didn't need to do um, a hole for the JAMA since it has like an adapter connected to it. So it's because uh, Nitsi, Nishibutsu don't use uh, simple uh, Jama. Uh, in this case, for example, this is battle back raid. You can see that I ha I, I did make. Sorry, there's not much, but I did make like a hole for the 
for the JAMA connection. Anyway, um, just so you can see uh, the use of the plastic and metal spacers in this case, you're going to have to use a good judgment uh, in using uh, the spacers, but you need to keep it at a nice distance from the PCB itself. Uh, this was a little bit difficult, so you can see here. Now, a very important um, issue um, in the older PCBs, uh, you might you might shorten them if you use a metal spacer. I use metal spacer, but I I uh, I use like a plastic. Uh, I don't know how you call it, but it's like a plastic piece because. If I connect it directly with a metal piece between this board and this board, it will close the circuit and it might shorten it. It, it doesn't happen with most boards, but I always recommend to use this little plastic uh, things to, to uh, separate them. I, I could have used a plastic spacer here, but I wanted to use a, a metal one. So like you guys can see, some of the spacers are connected directly. To the PCBs and some of them are not connected to the PCB but I uh, use them for extra structure like you guys can see you see this one is not connected to, to the PCB but this one is connected to, to the PCB so it's you're gonna have to use your judgment uh, but yeah but this is a uh, finished product I use like a, a printed uh, sticker this is a two layer sticker one is the print and one is the transparent uh, film on it so yeah, so this is a finished product. Uh, it's a very fragile and old PCB and now I have a peace of mind using it.